previously on Caitlin's Way. This is the sixth home in two years, Caitlin. You have been difficult to place. I'm expelled. Your mother had a cousin. She sent you a ticket. She wants you to go live with him. Yeah? Wait, you're letting a stranger move in with us? What if she steals my stuff or worse? She's just had some tough times. Wearing braces is tough times. Letting a girl move in and one with a criminal past? That's just frightening. It's never any different. New place, new family, new rules. Always the same suspicions. Mom, listen, I want to tell you a story. Caitlin, I'm always listening, honey. It's the one where the little girl runs away, hides in the forest. Her mom looks everywhere for her, and has to ask an old wish for help. Sounds like kind of a downer. Mom. You're not going to run away, are you? I'd hate to lose you. You'll never lose me. Never, never. Good. OK. Now let's read a happy story. Okay. One about bandits. Where were we? Lose me. Never, never lose me. Oh. Wake up, honey. You're having a bad dream. Here. Wipe your eyes. You're all right now. You know, when my Edie used to cry when she was a girl, I used Listen, to Listen, Lydia. No offense or anything, but I just want to be left alone right now. Sorry. Well, if you need an ear, I'm sitting right next to you. An ear. Funny. Whenever you want to be heard, nobody wants to listen. And when you just want to be alone with your thoughts, somebody's always there, ready to pry them out of you. This is for you. Thanks. I always swore I'd never trust another adult again. That'll help you make some of it permanent. But sometimes, the nice ones kind of sneak up on you. Time to move on! Maybe it's easier to trust them when you're never going to see them again. You take care now, Caitlin. I always have. Will you give this new family a chance? There's no life without family, you know. I'm aboard! No life without family. Yeah, right. What do I know about family? What do I want a family to know about me? There's a devil standing on my tail, but I don't have to be him. And there's an angel that is tempting me to fail. Go. Don't tell me. You're gonna have to go pick up the juvenile delinquent. How'd you know? The whole town knows. She's not even here yet, man. She's already ruining your life. I know, I know. So tell me, what do you think she looks like? Who cares? Come on, man, it's a girl. Yeah, a girl fugitive. Come on, Griff. Hi, Brett. Eric. Hey, Dad, Hi, Dad. Hello. Hello. You better lock your doors. She'll rob you blind. See you later, man. See you, bud. Later.
Looks like there's at least a dozen of them. And that stallion, ka-ching, ka-ching. Cold, hard cash on four legs. It's a beautiful sight. 10,000 for me, 5,000 for you. We take the horses up to Flat Top Ridge, and then we brand them. They're ours. Then we drive them to North Franklin. Cut them off, will you? Run the buckskin through the canyon. I will, Frank, with the help of my trusty lasso, Wilbur. I think I broke my ribs. I don't care about you. The buckskin. Don't tell me that horse is smarter than you. It was like he had a brain of his own. Are oh, you crazy? He's just a dumb animal. Once we get him, the rest of the herd will follow. How are we going to do that, Frank? Well, we're either going to have to catch him or kill him. Oh, I hope not. All right. Stuff. That's ridiculous. She's a 14-year-old girl, Griff. It's not too late. We could just turn around, pretend we never heard about her. Griffin. Griffin. All I'm trying to say is that she might be a bad influence on me, and I can't be held accountable for my actions. We all know my susceptibility to peer pressure. I'm at a difficult age. Give it a rest, Griff. You see her? No. Please tell me this isn't them. Caitlin? Hi, I'm Dory. Hi, I'm Jim. Hey. Whatever. So, you're from back east, huh? I was there once for a science fair, a cool place, and I'm going back as soon as I graduate. Do you always talk this much? Yes, I do. Cool camera. You steal it? Griffin! Griffin? I chose this over jail. So, you ever do time? Not yet. Want to give me a reason to? Oh, hilarious. She's a comedian. So let's get one thing straight. My room off limits. Don't even bother going in because everything is chained down, locked up, or password protected. Okay. Now you get one thing straight. My life is off limits. Don't look at me, don't talk to me, and don't mess with me. Fine. All right, Caitlin, this is your new home. Where is everybody? There's nothing out here. Griff, show Caitlin around. We'll unload and start dinner. You mean there's more? All right, this month's red rag finally came. You can just imagine your excitement. <laughs> oh, great. That's her, huh? Where's her ball and chain? My friends, your future classmates. <laughs> hey, Julie! Get on that! <laughs> Can you 
always hang out with the losers? They're my best friends. Besides, Eric's brother has a car. He drives us around. So sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with Eric. No. He's gonna have to deal with me. Your room is this way. Well, I didn't do much because I didn't know how you'd like it. I hope you don't mind being up here. I kind of thought you might like the privacy. This is the best view in the house. All those mountains. Do you like it? I don't have to share? No. If you want to put things up or take things down, it's your room. Oh, yes, I went through all my old photographs and I found this one. It's your mom and me when we were about your age. It's the only Christmas we ever spent together. Look, Mrs. Lowe, Cousin Dory, whatever, look, I'm sure you're a real cool lady and everything, but why are you doing this? It seemed like you needed some help and I thought we could give it to you. I think this is going to be really good for all of us. Yeah, well, I've heard it all before. You'll get sick of it, trust me. Then one day, someone from the state shows up, and I'm off to a new foster home. Caitlin, that's not going to happen. We're your family. I don't need any more families. Well, Caitlin, you've... Come downstairs when you're ready, okay? I get called for dinner, I have to come down right away, but she can come down whenever she wants. Because she's already our favorite. Hilarious. <laughs> There really is nothing out here. Jim here. Hey, Don, what's up? I'll come out and take a look around. Yeah, I understand. Okay, bye. Two of Don Anderson's sheep got attacked last night. It's the rabid wolf. Well, Caitlin's not in her room. All right, we're one child family again. Do you think she went for a walk? I mean, she doesn't even know the area. It's going to be dark soon. What if she gets lost? I'm sure she didn't go far. It's a whole new world for her. Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful. You can trust me. There. You're free. Nice dog. Good doggy. You're a big one. Get out of here! I said beat it! Caitlin! It's the wolf! Hey, I'm over here! That was, that was around the horse's neck and he was bleeding. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. You're part of the wild herd. It's gotta be rustlers. What are rustlers? They take horses across the state line and sell them. Okay, we'll just build a temporary corral up there and then we'll just drive the horses in. <sighs> what if the stallion comes back? Well, then we'll drive him in too. All right. Oh, this is like that comic book I read about the whale. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. You mean Moby Dick? Oh, that's the one. Where, where, where the captain's always searching for the whale. And, 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 and where, where, he's on a Forget ship. about the whale. Okay, we're in the middle of the mountains. Now just get on up there to the corral and put some rock salt in. We'll use it as bait. Bait? See, it is just like hunting the whale. Except there's no rock salt, no, no, no corral. Uh, and, and, and the fact that there's no water and no whale. Forget about the whale. Get going. Forget about the whale. Come on, what's the hold up? Be patient, Griff. It's her first day at school and I'm sure she wants to look extra nice. All ready to go. Oh man, are you out of your mind? What are you trying to do, ruin my life? Um, I think it looks very um, individual. Yeah, very green. You're a cop? He's a sheriff. Even better. You drink coffee? No. Mom, you're gonna let her drink coffee. Dad? I guess. All right, does that mean I can drink coffee? Yeah, sure, honey, if you want. I don't know. I don't think people at my age are just supposed to drink coffee. You'll learn to like it when you grow up. There's the bus. Here you go. What's this? It's your lunch. Oh, cute. Thanks. I think I have a fever. Feel my forehead. I better stay home. Nice try, Griff. Come on, hurry up. Don't keep the bus driver waiting. All right, you gotta eat lunch at the back right tables. You look like a dweeb if you go to the back left ones. Uh huh. Hey, I'm giving you some serious inside tips here. Griffin, I already know this school. There's the jerk with his brother's car. Oh, There's every girl's dream guy, and here is every guy's dream girl. Here is the guy that no guy or girl ever wants to talk to. And here is the guy whose biggest concern is sitting at the right table. Hey, I'm just trying to help you out. You know, so you'll fit in better. 
gotta go check in at the principal's office. Okay, well that's it's over. over here, on the right. Guess that makes you the girl who thinks she knows everything. In his novel, 1984, George Orwell presented us with a stark, totalitarian view of the future. Eric, what society at the time was he referring to? Uh, A, 1984 isn't the future, and B, who cares? <laughs> May I help you? <laughs> Class, uh, please welcome your new classmate, Caitlin Seeger. What a freak show! <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I'd like a five-page report on George Orwell tomorrow on my desk. Mr. Watson, look at her. She's a freak. Make it ten. Want to go for more? <laughs> Ms. Seeger, uh, welcome to High River. Please tell us a little about yourself. Well, I never really wanted to come here. I don't expect any of you to like me, and I don't expect to like you. Is she for real? Whoa. So stay out of my face, and no one gets hurt. <laughs> well, I've never heard that one before. Please, take a seat. She's your cousin? No, where'd you hear that? These people wouldn't know a freak if it bit them. <laughs> At least people in the city are interesting. Where'd these kids come from anyway? Cookie cutter? <laughs> <laughs>